Good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Stella Escobedo. And I'm Eric Connor. It is going to be another hot day across the county, and that has fire crews on high alert. Three fires are still burning at this hour. They broke out at Camp Pendleton earlier this week. We saw multiple fires break out yesterday. News 8's Chris Grow joins us live now with the very latest on containment efforts and what firefighters want the public to know as the weather heats up, Chris. Good morning, Eric and Stella, and the latest update on those fires that are burning there in Camp Pendleton. One of them, which has burned more than 1,000 acres, is reported to be at 75% containment, but they also updated earlier this morning that those fires were still burning. However, they said that there was no threat to personnel or structures on or off the base. So that is some of the good news going on. But they are going to continue to monitor hotspots after running a containment operation this morning at last count on total acreage burned. That stood at about 8,600 acres split between those three fires. Now, unfortunately, we did see many fires yesterday, including uh, this one, which may have been, in fact, the worst because we saw a home there in Bostonia, an unincorporated area just outside of El Cajon, completely destroyed and engulfed in that fire. Now, the fire took place. Uh, either, we don't know how the fire started. We don't know if it started inside the home or outside, if it was due to environmental reasons or something outside, but you can see the damage to the property there. And sadly, the homeowner told us two of his dogs died. And then, of course, up north near Twin Oaks Valley Road in Deer Springs, we saw a vegetation fire ignited there. Happened around 2 in the afternoon, one of the hottest times of the days. And, of course, then another uh, fire that firefighters had to put out there in Santee, a brush fire that sparked down in a ravine just north of Mission Gorge Road. Now, yesterday, we saw record high temps in El Cajon, Oceanside, and Chula Vista, and we obviously expect it to be hot today as well. So for a closer look at that and what we can expect later on today, uh, we'll turn now to Heather Myers. Heather. Chris, thank you so much. And as far as those record temperatures are concerned, we very well could break or tie heat records in those same three locations that we did yesterday. I'm going to show you that here in just a moment. Yes, it's warm inland again today. A little relief from the heat right along the coastline, but it's also very dry inland and all the way out to the desert. We're starting to see some relief from the uh, dry conditions along the immediate coastline, as you're noticing from this relative humidity numbers here. Bound to 67% relative humidity right now in Del Mar, 76% in Chula Vista. Now, Compare that to the teens for most of our inland locations stretched all the way out to the mountains in single digits for the desert. Only 8% relative humidity at this hour in Borrego. Speaking of Borrego, that's the hot spot in the county at 106 by this afternoon. Again, closer to the coastline. Now we're back to the mid 70s to low 80s, sort of depending on where you are. But we're in 90s territory for most of the inland communities. Look at El Cajon expected to reach a high of 92 degrees today. That's expected to break a heat record. And that's one of the spots we did yesterday, too. The other locations are Oceanside as well as Chula Vista. 87 today in Julian, 90s for Escondido. So again, Chula Vista, Oceanside Harbor, and El Cajon all expected to either tie or break heat records. Yesterday's temperature of 99 degrees in El Cajon, as I mentioned before, did break the record, but that's still 7 degrees warmer than today, so we're starting to see the temperatures trend down. 79 at the beaches today, then low 70s for Friday and Saturday. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds out there. Inland friends, low 90s today, a pool party temperature still. Then we're in the low 80s for tomorrow. Believe it or not, only make it to the upper 70s on Saturday. So today will be the last warm day, and then we'll see the temperatures back down starting tomorrow. That's a look at the forecast. We'll have more on the eight day coming up later on in the show.